go ahead and put that starter Bendix in. Got a 17 millimeter nut here. it down and then put the cover back on. Because that is going to wiggle a little bit. Put the cover back on and then I guess we'll put it back under the frame and uh, get the frame back up. Hook all the wiring back up and then we'll move to the starter. See if we can get the starter Running good. Put the carb up. We can also check spark, make sure we got spark, and then go from there. A couple of valves to line up, and we got to line up the shaft with the starter appendix. There we go. I'm going to wrestle this thing back under and put the one swing arm bolt in that goes through the frame and the front of the case. The engine's back on and I got the switch in, got it set up. Unfortunately the starter solenoid um, is gone but I can't actually I can hold it together. Get it to try to start. And the, the headlights come on and start to see the, the tail light come on when the um, generator is running on it. So the only problem is I put fuel in the tank and um, let it gravity feed down to the carburetor and it spilled and started running out from the ball everywhere. So I'm going to have to pull that uh, carburetor off, take it apart, and go through and check the float, check the needle seat, probably go ahead and clean the, the jets in it, and um, put it all back together. I got a new plug, but this plug boot is pretty much gone. There's nothing there to hold it in there hold contact so the coil's good it will it will actually fire over so but uh it's it's too loose to run it so i'm gonna have to order a new um new coil assembly new cdi and we're gonna have to get a tire uh, i'm not gonna mess with the tire until i get this running um, once we get it starting and running then i'll start looking at we got to get a new footboard. All of the mount points were broken on it, so it was just flopping up there. Um, try and find the um, side panels that go across here. Oh, what else do I need? Got to get a seat for it as well. Um, and a new glove box door, because there was no key, and the only way to get this off was to unscrew the hinges and eventually break the uh, hinges off the plastic here so I'll have to get a new door you can still get just the door and I've got a lock for that came with the ignition set so that's where we are now I'm gonna go ahead and take that carb off and then we'll start pulling it apart and uh, we'll test the electric choke and clean everything out put it back together
Come on. And these are JIS screws, they're not Phillips. Because they have the dot on them. They're the blades a little bit um, different shape. See there's a little dot right there on it. Sometimes you can get it away with a Phillips, but on equipment that's been around for a while you have a tendency to uh, have issues with it stripping them so I do not have power on my power supply there we go now I got juice and we'll give this thing some juice Typically green or black on these is ground and you just want to put 12 volt on it Which is going to be hard to do in this little I'm going to have to do that On one side Try not to touch the other connector the other terminal and we'll stick that in the back side of the other end. We'll give it juice. And it should start drawing in. See how much current draw I get. Uh, about an amp. I don't think that choke's working. It's not moving. So the electric choke is no good. There is no wonder it was pissing out. There's a missing screw right there. Well, somebody's been in here before. Let me see back out. That is a bowl drain screw. You put a piece of, there's supposed to be a piece of hose on here that runs under the frame so you can um, flush the fuel out of the bowl. Ooh. It's gonna need a carb kit. Back and forth. That has had water in it. Rubber tipped. Needle, which is good. It's still a little pliable. And we'll polish the seat up afterwards. Go ahead and take this and take a uh, boot off. Manifold, tiny little manifold. That needs a new 
new screw. It's about stripped out. Oops. want to be a pain. I'm just going to take that band off completely. Shouldn't have to, but let's see if we can encourage it to come off. And on the sides. There it goes. Need to clean up all that loose rubber in there. Two jets, we have an idle on a secondary, or is that idle on secondary? That's secondary. It looks like it pulls in and goes through there, pulls in through the tube there. And there should be a tube right in the middle that it draws from. Yep, it draws. That's the central idle. And I'm going to need, is that six millimeter? Is it a quarter? Bigger than a quarter, yeah. I'm not going to take the Venturi tube out. I just want to make sure that that was clean. We need to make sure that all those little port, those little passages are clear. clear. We'll give that a bath. I'm not going to, I'm not going to do that. And where is my carb screwdriver? I have a screwdriver that I ground the sides in to get it down into small engine uh, fuel tubes. Take the jets out. Have a backup. Well, stuff will go through it. spring loaded device in here this diaphragm pull it up don't want to rip this based on the air flow coming in this lifts and lowers the secondary fuel uh, inlet blocks the uh, flow of air, controls it. That's fine. Everything looks good except for the nasty bits in here and the bad, the bad uh, 
All right, there. I'll go ahead and pick that out. Mm, might be able to reuse that actually. I'll use it with a little gray, ultra, uh, ultra gray sealant. Give it a good cleaning. That needs a bath. If you see when you give it gas to start with, see how that spring bends. Has a uh, fuel piston, fuel pump. I used to have these on uh, old carburetors where you get it started, you'd pump it a few times, and it would um, dump fuel on the throat, so it would uh, fire on the first few cranks. That does the same thing. And it looks like it goes up that nasty hole right there, which is not as a jet right there. Actually, there's a tiny little there's a jet in there. Let's see if I can get it out. This might not might be near enough. Let's see. Here it is. Barely. I would have missed that. There is a jet there too. That controls the cc's of the squirt when you push it down. Yeah, there's a little uh, spring in there. There's probably a check valve, check ball in there. Tiny little spring. I don't want to lose that. Let's see, is that thing clear? Should have a piece of wire over here. Yeah, it's open. We'll throw that in there with it as well. And I'm going to put that spring on a piece of tape so I don't lose it. Like so. Let's put the jet, I mean the uh, needle on it. And we'll throw a couple of screws on it. Keep everything there. Let's take this apart. An enrichment squirt. And that's definitely spring loaded. The light spring. Look at all the junk in there. Yeah. Let's save the O-ring. Don't want that going in the chemical bath. Don't drop that and let that clean clean up some. We'll do the spring too. Hopefully it'll remove some of the junk that's on it. And let's see, is this gonna come out without ripping? Woo! It did. I'll just clean that off. Wipe it down good. It's still nice and flexible. That's good. There's a little check ball down inside of there. I wonder if it'll come out. It's a little rusty, and it's a metal one. I'll clean that up. Don't want to lose that check ball. We'll also go in and polish that. Okay. This, this. Let's see this. This stuff. Uh, what else? That. 
think I'm gonna leave everything else the way it is. Looks like all of the all the needles and uh, jets are out. What brand is this? Can't tell with the bracket on it. It's made in Japan. Might be a Makuni. CVK. Yeah. Berryman's Kim Dip. And there's another wire, cleaning wire. Uh, I'm going to have to actually dunk these separately. They're not going to all fit in there. All right, I am going to soak that, rinse it off, soak that, rinse it off, and then we'll have everything back that I have cleaned so far. We'll start putting everything back together. All right, the other stuff's in there. I got this main body, carb body out. And rinsed it off and go through and clean it up a little bit more. Get rid of some of the dirt that decided to stay. It's gonna get dirty again, but the cleaner it is when you put it together, the less chances you have of something getting stuck. <coughs> Idle adjust there. <coughs> Let's polish the seat for the needle. And I need a battery for Q tip. And I like to use white diamond metal polish. And it does not take much of this stuff. Just take the cap, a little bit on there. I'm going to dab it on, smooth it out. You don't want big chunks, you just want a little bit on the fibers. See how nasty it gets. <clears throat> Grab another. You can see right there how it makes a little little point. That's where the tip of that needle sits in. You want to make sure that's nice and polished. Let's flip it over and get a little bit more and do the other side. Use the other side of this. Don't want that much. Pretty nasty. And that was dark bronze. The brass was very discolored before. We wanted it all nice and shiny.
now when you look down in there, nice and shiny. If we take this, and there's the fuel inlet right there. I should be able to drop that in. With a little pressure on it. Nice little seal. I think that's good. What else can we clean up? Um, we have a missing screw for sure. Let's see if I can find one over there in the basket case box. Should be about the same length, should be the same thread. And, then, and it's a lot longer, but that's okay. These are through hole. Just need to make sure I put it on the side, but it's not going to interfere. Much, much, much later. I just don't know if that's going to seal. Well, we need to. Do the Q-tip on this side. And this thing too. It is not still. I don't think I have any steel ball bearings that small. I can still blow around it. Well, that's not good. So I'll have to see if I can find a kit that's got the um, enrichment kit with the gaskets. Everything else looks good on it, so, but I have a feeling this gasket's going to leak, and that is definitely going to leak, and it's going to suck extra fuel through, which is going to make it run rich. No way, no. Well, order a couple more parts, and hopefully we can wrap this carb up and see if we can do a first start on it.